I mean, why in the does it even matter? So why in the world would I even try to talk to you about a new makeup, a new skincare company? Like why would I even tell you about this? Um, why in the hell does it even matter, right? It matters to me because it is skincare, it's pigmented skincare, it is anti-aging skincare and anti-aging makeup. So I don't like to invest a lot of money in myself. Like I actually, um, my husband will spend money on me before I will. And he has to a lot of times encourage me to do that because I know that we have other things we're trying to do with our finances. And it's funny because the roles are totally the same otherwise. Like he does the same thing. Like I have to push him to invest in himself. He has to push me to invest in myself. So at least it balances, but it's the truth. This plays into these products because I like getting more bang for my buck. Like I, I wasn't just gonna go buy a brand new iPad for myself because I was like, oh, pretty shiny iPad that's uh, light and I can take it anywhere. It like my laptop had to die in order for that to happen. I had to have an increasing client base, whether it's for the travel agent business or for this side of my life where I'm selling um, Cynogen's products. Like I needed, I needed to have validation and um, it needed to serve more than one purpose. I needed for myself, I needed to be able to argue to myself, with myself, that it was to serve a purpose and it was to get more bang for my buck. It wasn't just about replacing my laptop. Um, I had to really need it and it had to be for a purpose. And all this wraps into Cetogens because Cetogens is pigmented skincare, it's anti-aging skincare and anti-aging makeup. So every time I layer stuff onto my face, I'm layering in skincare. Even if I'm using the cosmetics, I'm layering in skincare. I'm layering in, um, I'm layering in anti-aging benefits to my body. So I knew that I was going to be compounding the benefits of what I was utilizing on my face. If I have a no makeup day, that's fine. I'm using skincare that's giving me SPF. I'm using skincare that's giving me anti-aging properties and is hydrating my skin in a clean beauty way. Let's just say that too. Clean freaking beauty. Like we're not trying to add to the stress and the wrinkles and the creases and the things and the, and the age spots and the acne and hormonal. Like we're not trying to make things worse on our skin by putting products on our face that are dirty or have random chemicals in it. Cinegence is a clean beauty company and they only really started marketing that last year even though they have been this whole time. It's incredible. They're not even clean beauty by US standards, they're clean beauty by European standards. So I am putting things on my body that are clean, anti-aging cosmetics that are skincare, like all of it goes together. <laughs> So, oh my goodness. Ugh. So how did I get started in this and how did I get so fired up about these products? Um, especially being someone who's not a makeup artist, who's not even, like this is not the world I live in. Um, I had an acquaintance of mine at the time who was like, oh my gosh, I know that you like to have fun sometimes with your makeup and I know that, and she was a makeup artist and she was like, I know that you really like lipsticks and you've really gotten into bolder colors lately. Like, have you heard of lip sense? And I was like, what are you talking? Like, no, what is this new? Like, it was seemed like yet a new company, right? I was just like, whatever. So she tells me about it and she's like, look at these videos and she starts sending me videos that people are sending out. Now, one of my mentors is Katie Enos. I don't know if you guys have heard of her. She's incredible. She is a makeup artist. Um, I became connected with the company about the same time that she started. So we've actually been exposed to Cetogens for almost the same amount of time. And I started looking at what she was doing and I was, um, I had been watching her makeup videos anyway because I was using them as like a way to, like I said before, learn how I liked to apply makeup, learn how to apply makeup, learn that like you really need to have the best tools because your tools matter just like your makeup matters. So all those things. So I was starting to see her experiment with the products as well. And one of the first things I saw was one of these videos that my friend sent me that was a bl of lip sense. And she was like, oh, it's like the magic lipstick. It never comes off. So I finally purchased and then really became like, I mean, within weeks was like, okay, I, I have to try more. They launched with this lip sense. And it was funny because I think like, I don't know, three to four years after other product lines, like anything from all the major brands like Maybelline and L'Oreal and whomever, Revlon, like they all started trying to find answers for this, like, you know, six to eight hour, 12 hour plus whatever, long lasting lipsticks that are budge proof and don't come off because it was the thing that everyone was like, 
what? How does this not come off? So of course the first color that I purchased was cranberry and we're talking like classic timeless red. This is actually that shade here. This is an old picture. <laughs> um, and it was just because I love like classic timeless, like pinup 40s, 50s looks. Um, I just, I had to go with the red of course. Furthermore, I was like, if I'm really gonna try and see if this is gonna come off, like red is one of the most pigmented colors you can find. So you get a red and you really test it. Now for today's purposes, I specifically put on a lip sense that is different. I even put on lip sense. I've been wearing something else as my lip color lately and I'll talk about that another time. But I wore lip sense today and this is in the shade dark pink because I had on my lovely like Plant Donald t-shirt, which if you guys are Disney fans and you're seeing this and you guys know what Plant Donald is, if you don't like, please Google that because it was hilarious. Um, this t-shirt is from a company called The Niche Co. And so it's their little like nod. They do deep cut Disney nerdisms and it's just, it's fantastic. I have a whole bunch of their stickers on things. Like I'm not a rep or anything. It's not an ad, it's just, yeah, anyway. So I decided to wear this lip sunshade and it is dark pink. It is like a timeless classic, like it is so wearable. So what I, the whole reason why I put this on is because if lip sense is the first thing that I was drawn to, like really why? Um, because it really doesn't come off. Like you, you actually have to use a remover that they have and that will pull it off. Now, if you've been wearing lip sense for like eight, 10, 12 hours, and you're gonna go take off your makeup, it's going to come off easier because you've had you know, saliva helping to break it down, you've had food breaking it down, you've had drinks breaking it down, um, it'll still be there, it'll break down along your waterline first, and of course the bolder the color, the more visible that will be, but the point that I'm trying to make is that at the end of the night, yes, you can get it off, it's just like, it takes time, it takes a lot of wear and tear, and it will go through anything, and so, I wanted to show you, like, could you even, like you could see the gloss, like the glossiness on my fingers a little bit from the gloss that's over top of it that helps seal it and protect it and hydrate your lips throughout the day. But like, I mean, like, I mean, don't believe this video, go just, just seriously go open the search bar and type in lip sense and you'll see it. I have an old video from a long time ago and you can look at my different collections and you can see it like a long time ago, but it just, it doesn't go anywhere and it's why I fell in love with it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that means that as a busy human who is already arguing about spending time and investing that time on myself and investing um, any kind of funding for myself into something that can feel frivolous like makeup, that like, I can put it on and it's not, it's gonna last forever and it's not gonna budge. So if I'm taking the time for myself, then I know I don't have to reapply it. If I'm taking the time for myself, I know I don't have to worry about it or think about it. I can go about my day and it's going to be there. And I can, you know, I can invest in this thing and I can use it. And it's like that particular tube of color is going to last me a long time because of just the durability of the product because I don't have to reapply it. So like there was so much in there in that decision to invest in this product and in these things that they, that this company has been creating because like, come on, you're gonna fly through a lip color because you have to reapply it. The other thing that's really so cool about this is that the color itself is actually suspended in medical grade alcohol. So that's gonna actually really keep out the bacteria. It's gonna help keep it clean, but it also is what allows the, the color to molecularly, like literally molecularly bond to your skin. There's a lot of that in this company. It's not about staining your skin. It's about bonding with your skin, which is just like awesome. Can we just come together and be a lovely couple as opposed to you like, you know, staining me and leaving me with trauma to fix and clean up. <laughs> But really like that color, you put it on in three layers and then you cover it with a gloss. You don't have to, um, you don't have to use a shiny gloss. I put it away. You can, um, you don't have to use a clear gloss. You can use a tinted gloss. You can use a matte gloss if you like, you know, the matte finish instead. Um, but the gloss is what you keep putting on your lips to keep them hydrated. If you're going to really like, like if you're gonna eat a burger and your mouth is gonna really like and tear something apart, you know, put the gloss on it. It's gonna help, eat, you know, protect and prolong your color even longer. I know, I'm just like running because the thing is, is that I've been in love with these products 
for so long. Like we're talking, this is, we're talking, this is January of 2017 that I was like, wow, okay, I love this stuff. I've been using it for two weeks. I need to get more. Um, I'm also a park lover. Like obviously I love going down to parks, pass holder for, you know, Universal and to Disney. And so I go down there a lot, which means I need skincare that's gonna help take care of my skin here in Virginia, but also in Florida. And I need products that are not gonna sweat off my face when I'm in the heat and humidity. Now it gets hot and humid in Virginia too. It just doesn't last as long as it does in Florida, but it gets very hot and humid here too. So like, even if I wasn't going down to the parks, I'm still going to need something that is going to stand up to the heat and humidity. So I fell in love with these products because they last, because they are clean, because they have anti-aging properties. And because, you know, there's it's pigmented skincare. Like I'm getting so many different benefits in limited investments. I don't have to buy, I don't have to buy as much unless I want to. Does that make sense? Like, you know, I, I don't use a foundation. I use this. This is called the color correcting tinted moisturizer. I use this instead of a foundation. Like that's, that's what's on my skin today. And there's times when I don't wear anything. There's times like a few days ago when I literally put this on along with, let's I used um, a blush and I used the eye illuminator, which is one of my favorite things because it's an eye cream that just has like some pearlescent properties to it. And it just like, it's just a nice little bit of shimmer. And sometimes I'll put it here on my cheeks just because that skin is a little bit closer to your eyes, which is, you know, a little bit more tender and it needs some extra loving from the eye cream because it's so thin. Like you can do so much. You can invest the way you want to invest if you're not a makeup user. You can use the skincare products and know that you are going to be getting quality, clean, anti-aging products and know that it's going to be healthy and good for your skin. There are people in this company who are like big top sellers, you know, making, making all the bank, um, who are estheticians and they love the skincare. They really love the skincare. It's like the big thing that they push, if that makes sense. But it's because they know that the products work and they know that the products are good, but they also know that the price point on the products is better than anything you're gonna get. If you go into a spa, the spa they're gonna charge you two to three times easily what they, what Synagens charges for the pro for these products. So it's just, it's such, it's a no-brainer. For me, it's a no-brainer because I can put my makeup on, I cannot think about it, I can go about my day. My kids can run all over, my, their hands all over my face and other than being concerned about dirts and oils, um, I don't have to think about my makeup going anywhere. I know it's gonna last in the parks, I know it's gonna stand up in the parks, so if I'm like, I wanna put on makeup and have fun, I'm not thinking or worrying about the fact that the heat and the humidity or the rain is gonna just melt it off my face. I mean, <laughs> you know, I have, I have so much that shows how good these products are and I have years of using them. Years, literally years. We're going on what, seven years now? Before, yeah, seven years and two weeks <laughs> of using these products and just continuously being just really impressed and really grateful that I have them. And I just, I wanted to share this, not only from a point of like, invest wisely and invest in something that's clean, invest in something that's going to give you more bang for your buck because then you're spending more wisely and you have more money to spend on going down to theme parks and traveling. <laughs> but because it's a way to help give to yourself and invest in yourself. You're giving yourself clean, good skincare products that are going to nourish the skin. This is the only thing you have. Take the time, go into your bathroom, put on some music, um, listen to a podcast, listen to an audiobook, or, you know, watch a movie, but put something, you know, on and go in the bathroom and really take the time to remove your makeup or just wash the day off your face and then layer on really good quality products for your skin and give that love back to the biggest organ in your body, the thing that really, really deserves it. If you have any questions, please send me a message. You can also email me at info at themotivationalpinup.com. 
Um, you can go to the website, motivationalpinup.com. You can, you know, hook up with me there if you want to travel, if you want some motivational resources like fun music playlists or recommended podcasts or audiobooks. Um, if you want to connect when it comes to style and you kind of want to see just what I do and the different takes that I do, because I am working from home today. So I have like kind of a retro feel to my lounge look. I have a t-shirt on and some leggings. Um, but when I get dressed, you can see some style like that too. It's like, um, rockabilly or like a little bit more modern pinup so like 50s traditional and then there's a lot of like theme park inspired looks so if you want to check that out that's there you can also go to at miss motivational pinup on instagram and you can see some stuff there if you're a facebook user i have that as well um same channel and um just let me know if you have trouble investing in yourself and investing in some self-care time i hear you i feel you and just Follow for more positivity, motivation, travel, and fun theme park inspired style. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Cheers and have the best week. See you later. What a day. Yeah, what a day. It was a good day. We're like sweating because it's so muggy now. It's humid. From all the rain and everything. So very humid. 